Hey guys, we back. Uh, this episode number five, I believe. Um, so we decided to hold off on this, go back to the void, since we're very close to two of these things. Uh, gonna continue the main story a little bit, see where that takes us, see if anything kind of branches off on us, or if uh. Or if we just kind of continue to follow the same line of stuff. Oh man. I hate wolves. Oh no. Uh. Oh shit. Found me. Oh yeah, okay. So this 10% more damage thing is helping a bunch. Alright, I don't know how I'm... Ooh, got away from dodge attacks. Okay, I don't know why we're not getting wrecked right now. Dumbass death stalker ass motherfuckers. Uh, beating wolves asses. I like killing wolves with like sword and shield. Because you just fucking beat the shit out of them. It's awesome. It's been in my last, well, the first few thumbnails. The last one I didn't kill a wolf in, so I had to find something else to use as a thumbnail. Alas, we have found a small, like, looks like some torp, some torp of a uh, fishing village. I need to adjust the settings, I just remembered. Let's go ahead and take the master volume. Uh, probably down here. Just drop the music. Voices probably stay. Footsteps probably drop a little bit. Alright. Hopefully that's a little bit better. You can hear me a little more. Or less. Um, Penta's house. Um, so I don't really have any desire to go here, I guess. I guess this guy is important for whatever reason. So he threw something into the water. And we know that it landed here. Uh, so Euro's Diary is what we have. Okay, find the strong box. Tell the spar box. So we don't know who Jespar is exactly. Unless he is that guy that we talked to. Um, life letters. So we haven't really... Okay, so... Okay, so we did the right one first. Had we... What the hell? Look at this motherfucker. Good thing we don't have to fight it. Jesus Christ. So this looks pretty cool. Um, I wish it was daylight so we could see it a little better. Also, I wish my draw distance was a little better too. Um, but that would be okay. Wish I had a 1070. I th I'm really thinking about getting a... GTX 1070 um, to get rid of this 90 maybe give it away something I don't know exactly so this looks this dude looks like he's living large in this big house but it might be a little bit abandoned too also I'll bet that the quests are a little more direct and you not as much backtracking because of the way like fast travel works. Is there not? Yeah, there is. Okay, so these might truly be his pets or something. I don't know. Oh, okay. You're so he lives in his cellar, I guess. Uh. Uh, we're taking that. We're taking that and we're taking that gold purse so if you don't want your stuff to get stolen kids uh, do not leave it sitting out for strangers to take okay them is facts iron ore the rest of that I don't care about look at that view though that's pretty dope I mean I guess that's a little worn down but okay let's see use mouse then W to rotate the lock Okay. Okay, that wasn't that bad. It's hard to do on computer. I'm used to it being on uh, 
a controller. Staff of healing. That could come uh, in handy, especially if I can get away from using... Hey, nice! So now we have another pair of unique boots. Um, that's nifty, I guess. So here we have another lockbox. Oh. I think my mouse is like DPI is set to high. Or maybe it's low. I don't know. Ooh, okay. So nice, nice little magic drop there. Oh, there's a fucking dead guy. Okay, let's see what uh, Bro's house is all about. Euro's cellar. <clears throat> See what homeboy is all about. Uh, this is pretty creepy. It's got a lot of cool stuff. It looks like. Jesus Christ. Oh 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 oh. Ah, uh, see, ha! What a dickhead. This is probably oh no. It's a pressure plate. I knew I was an idiot. Fire salts, nice. I think this guy is a fucking psychopath. What the hell? Oh, I need to start using those ice claws to increase my inventory. That is a cool addition. I wish Skyrim had something like that. All right, let's see what this does. More arrow shooting, I guess. Uh, what's this? Taproot. Oh, another pressure plate. Let's jump over it. Hello. Well, if it isn't my new friend. Mm. Any luck? Well, well. That's interesting. Good work. That only leaves the mysterious object in the water. I'll have a closer look around here in the meantime. Uh, yeah. Interesting. I didn't know about his companion's fate, to be honest. Hmm. Irony of fate, isn't it? Murdered by those you wanted to help. But the order Truth. will only be interested in these letters. Well done. That should be all we need, then. Splendid. I did, uh, and now I find anything know what to make of it. Come, follow me. I'm sure that you did. Hey, we'll take that book. Is this home got any other cool books? This looks like a potion of health and healingness. Nah, just enchantment. Of course, we go deeper into the creepy ass cave thing place. Hmm. I shall take that. Um. Okay, looks like there's an exit over there. I present a star people's lock, and I bet my buttocks will find another answer behind that door over there. Uh. Doesn't surprise me. This kind of lock is usually only found in treasuries or castles, but they can be picked. But that's going to be quite the challenge without the bolts. The bolts. Normally, yeah. It's quite simple, actually. Every keyhole has a matching bolt that latches into place once you insert it. And once all the keyholes, five in our case, are latched, the door the lock protects opens up. If you don't have the matching Sounds bolts, however, easy you should prepare yourself for the most frustrating break-in of your life. That is, if you don't happen to be to spar. Who knows a little trick? Uh, what is this trick you speak of? You can use wooden sticks instead of bolts. Oh. They'll break a couple of seconds after you put them inside the lock, but if you manage to get all five sticks into place before the first one breaks, you can basically trick the mechanism. It's all about speed, in other words. So I'd hmm. say you do the running, and I'll wait near the pressure plate. You ready? Uh, okay. Splendid. Here are the sticks. All right, go! Okay. So 
so I have to do okay so let's let's think this out a little bit I would say more than likely I'm gonna have to bam 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 okay sounds easy enough this will probably be this might be a cool little episode to do Ooh, hey it's a cool helmet all right let's go ahead and do this shit all right Easy peasy. Now let's take a look and see what the old magister didn't want anyone to see, shall we? Okay. Oh, I can alt is the sprint button. Well, that's good to know now. <laughs> I'm five episodes in and I uh, just found out what the sprint button is, so that's great. Oh shit. Oh shit. <laughs> I don't wanna shoot you. Damn, Daniel. Get him, Jespar. Way too easy. I hope so. Oh, oh, oh. oh fuck. Oh, a fire elemental. And not a weak one. Miss Yarrow knew about magic, that's for sure. That leaves us with the question of what exactly this is supposed to be. At the risk of blowing your mind, I had already figured as much. <laughs> hmm. I love I this guy. That's his companion. Though it's interesting that he was already on the wrong side of the law way before his rampage. Hmm. Well, burials are considered heathen here in Enderall, and have been forbidden for about 300 years now. Here, uh -huh. corpses are always cremated. The whole thing's called the Last Journey. The deceased is taken to a place he or she considered special during his or her life immediately uh, after dying. That's the only way the soul can move on to the eternal paths. Sounds uh, that's very interesting. Poetic, but I'm pretty sure the only reason the order introduced the law was to prevent plagues. <laughs> that's that actually the lost ones running around on trade routes aren't that much fun for wanderers and traveling merchants. Yeah, that's kind of awkward. Yeah, but of course that only goes to the little man. The rich and powerful still tend to their family crypts. And Oop, there's still shit. plenty of old vaults around from Fucked the time before this whole last journey thing was begun. And it's good that way. What would life as a treasure hunter be like without the notorious noble looking for family jewels in a century-old grave? Yeah. Let's take a look around and see if we find anything. That is a splendid idea. Especially since I can get some fire salts and mana salts. Um, there's a book. Mate. Oh, what's that? Let me see. Uh huh. A tragic ending. For a tragic <laughs> what is this? I'd say. Well, I think that should suffice. Uh, this bro is definitely not reading anything. Yeah, we are. Here, I've got two teleport scrolls that can take. Oh, us right nice. Back to oh shit. Just meet me in the tavern once you're ready to go. I have some stuff to take care of, so there's no need to hurry. Farewell. So he is. Oh. Ah. Okay, cool. Uh, I'll leave the memorial book. That's creepy as shit. Uh, okay. Well, let's just leave. Let's go outside the cave entrance, see if there's anything cool up there before we leave. And then we will call it a short episode. Oh, shit. Pressure plate. Um, there's a bed. Nothing else here. I already picked that. Uh, some bags over there. Usually not much going on. All right, so let's see. Oh, I can't get out of here. Okay, well maybe we'll use this scroll. Mm, where is it? All right, so how do we use this thing? Okay, so it looks like to use this. I don't know. <laughs> what? Oh, okay, there we go. 
I was so confused. Okay, so it looks like you kind of have to be out of combat to use like an instant teleport type thing. Which doesn't bother me, that makes sense. Okay, we'll go ahead and make this the end of this episode. Uh, we'll try to keep them really short. And then uh, this one will just be like Euro's house or something like that. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. I love you. Um, I'll catch you guys on the next one. Goodbye, my friends.